Well, if you're like me and you wonder, am I in the know? Am I on the up and up? Do I know what's hip hopping happening with all the youths? If you're asking that, the answer is probably no because no one says that. Um, I do my best to keep you informed, I really do, but I myself ask those same questions, am I in the know? So someone who knows a lot more than me, Charles Montgomery, is joining us live now to help keep us on the hip hop happening, right Charles? Sure am, a little early, it is Tuesday, but we've already had enough trending throughout the world, right. the country, the area. <laughs> Biggest news right now, tonight, State of the Union Address, President Biden will face yes. a divided Congress to talk about a plethora of subjects. Of course, if you don't know what the State of the Union Address is, I really can't break it down any simpler for you. President, this will be President Biden, will face the Congress and just talk about topics that the United States is facing. There are mounting, you know, divide between the United States and China, right. the economy, his job as president, the thoughts that the people of America have, the people in Congress have. So it's an overall, just kind of an overall view of what's going on, what he plans to do in 2023, what he has done over the past year in mm -hmm. 2022. And so just looking forward, looking back what's going on now and just kind of the biggest things that the country's facing right now. So it'll be tonight at eight o'clock and you can come right here, channel 48. So it won't interfere with any of your regular local news, okay. but you can come right back here to NBC channel 48 to watch the State of the Union address yeah. as President Biden Tune addresses in for that Congress. As President Biden breaks down the latest. Did you speak with him this morning? You just get off the phone with We had a great President. breakdown. We we're talking sports. You're we're talking sports. All, Leaving or? the politics okay. for him up there in DC. I want to talk sports. It is sure. Super Bowl week, as we all know. So, you know, I was kind yeah, of we're very high for that. The gridiron. Um, something else we're hyped about. About Barbara Streisand is in headlines. Of course. Why is that the case, Charles? I stumbled upon this this morning. Did not know that this was going to be on the radar today, but Barbara Streisand's memoir is coming out in November, November 7th. So we are a nice, quick nine months away. So if you are looking for early Christmas presents, cross that one off your list. Barbara Streisand's memoir. There have been tens of books written about her over the years, but this will be the first book written in her own words. And she has talked about it over the past few years about how people have come to her and say, hey, maybe it's time you write a book. She was, uh, at one point, she was approached by former president uh, John F. Kennedy's wife to write a book. Get out and of town. And she said no. That was in the 80s. She wanted to wait around and accomplish a whole lot more, and she sure did. And But now, November 7th, this year, your Barbara Streisand's memoir coming out. So the time is now. Merry Christmas, Peyton. That'll be Thanks, under Charles. your tree from me. Are you going to give me a signed tree. copy? Did you speak with Barbara as well this morning? No, I don't understand what your contact list is for me. I don't have that. You're just so in the know. I figured I you literally the know, have these people you know, in your phone. I hey, I don't. I don't like to share my sources. Do you have? Bachelorette contestants in your phone? Because I, I don't. We're talking Bachelorette I don't. This now we're well. talking The Bachelor. Okay. If oh, you, the Bachelor. I don't, the Bachelor. I don't watch. The, Come on, Peyton. Is it The Bachelor? If you haven't watched last night's episode, don't change the channel. You can mute it now. I'm going to give you a quick scoop of what's going on. Okay. So I have to refer to my notes here. I'm sorry. I don't watch the show. I don't. I either. had to go through a quick run through. Oh, the Bachelor, is... Zach, okay. at one point invited Katie to spend the night with him. That didn't go over well. Oh no. That didn't go over well. Scandalous. Well, three people departed the show last night. Christina Mandrell. Bailey Brown and Brianna Thorburn. Brianna Thorburn self eliminated herself before the rose ceremony. I do know the rose ceremony. Wait, is she a actually said I'm leaving? I guess so. That's according to people. Oh, the tea. Incredible, right? And so that was last night. And then there was a party that apparently didn't end very well. Whew. Appear what do you mean it didn't end very well? A lot of arguments, you know, it's starting to get a little bit, you know, spicier. We're having that's some incredible footage there. Okay, I will say a girl I actually know is on the season this year. She is. Um, she is. Kylie it's not Marie one of those Russell. three, though. I grew yeah. up with her. We did pageants together and stuff. I, we haven't kept in touch at all, sure really. But we're like acquaintances. My Facebook was blowing up, and everybody was like, Kylie Marie Russell's on The Bachelor. And I was like, wait, what, Kylie? What? But anyways. Leave it to Peyton. So she's still on? She apparently, still on apparently, I didn't see her name on the quick roster okay. run through, but that's your quick bachelor update. I'm sorry if I didn't go in depth as you had hoped. Right. I'm leaving it for you, the viewers. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you can go and watch sure. it. I didn't want to spoil it for everyone. So hopefully you've turned your volume back on so you can watch the rest All of right, TV. Turn out. it back up. Charles, turn thanks for on. keeping us in the know. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Happy always. Tuesday to you. All right. It